Hello folks, Abfielder here with another Minecraft tutorial and today we are going to be doing Lightmatica, how to make a schematic. And just a reminder before that, that if you enjoy the video and find it useful, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Something like 80% of the people that watch my videos are not subscribed to the channel. I would hugely appreciate it if you do. I like to think I make some pretty cool Let's Play content as well as these helpful tutorials. Anyway folks, let's jump into that tutorial. So because of time constraints, I quite often do my building designs in creative, I then take a schematic and put it into my survival world, I'll go and collect the resources and then I can easily build it just following the schematic. The building we're going to work on today or show today is a build I did for Halloween, don't worry about what I just did there because I've got that stick selected, it looks really cool. Now I built this in creative and then I, I went into survival and built this exact same building in survival using the schematic, so I'm going to show you how I did that. So I'm going to get the stick, now assuming you've changed no defaults you will need the stick and if you look down the bottom left hand corner I'm using control and mouse wheel to to change between the selection options I want one of nine okay so it's on the area selection mode then you hit the M for mic key and just make sure that area selection says simple so you can see I'm just clicking it switching between simple and normal you want it to say simple you hit the escape key to exit out of the menu and then I'm going to go ahead and select a corner. Now I'm going to start down here and I'm going to left click with the mouse. Now don't worry about the fact that this area here is selected. That's because I had another block selected. So just simply left click and we now have a block selected. You can see it's not going to grab when we do this. It's not going to grab that outer area, but we will fix that up afterwards. It's not going to grab that bit up there. I'm now going to head over to the back opposite corner of this build up here as high up as I can and right click. And that's going to give me a good sort of starting point for the selection of this build. Now you can see it's missing the top and as I said it's missing the outer edges on this back corner. So we need to fix that up. So if we look south we need to increase the positive Z and if we look that way it's east so it's positive on the X. So we're going to need to fix that for corner one. So if we hit the M key for mic and go into area editor. Then for corner one we hit the left click to increase the area right click decreases the selection and we do the same for the Z coordinate and we now got the outer edges of that build selected we don't need to change the Y coordinate there because it's got the bottom of our build so that's one corner sorted we now need to sort corner two now corner two we were okay we selected the outer edges of this build it's just the height that we need to fix we need to increase the height so we hit the M key for mic again and then the area editor and then we just left click to increase the height until we've got the top of our build there we go and if we have a quick look at it we've now got the very top of that cross and we've got all the outer edges of the build selected we've got everything selected that we want to take our schematic to make a schematic so we hit the M key for mic we go back into the area editor and then down the bottom left there we have save schematic. So we hit save schematic. Nice and simple, right? So we just left click that. We give it a name. I've already got cemetery building here, so I'm just going to call it version 2. You can shift and left click on this, but I'm going to give it a different name. You hit save schematic. That is it. You have created your schematic. One last thing that's quite useful is the analyze area button. That will tell you what materials are currently selected and you can write that out to a file. I find this really useful because I write it out to a file and print it out. So if I hit the escape button to come out the menu and hit the T key, I can actually left click on that file and it will open it up. It'll open it up in your default program, which for most of you is going to be notepad. I could then print that out and I can go and collect those materials in survival. Anyway folks, that is exactly how you do it. That's how you make a schematic. I also have two more videos on Lightmatica currently, how to copy and paste a build into your creative world and also how to import a schematic from a third party. So folks, if you found the video useful, then please hit the like button and as I said, please consider subscribing. If you turns out you don't like my content, you can always unsubscribe later. Folks, that's all I've got time for with this video. I'm Abfielder. Goodbye.